Hey guys, Ru here with another bit for Blender. This one we're gonna be texturing this trim sheet in Quixel Mixer. That's a trim sheet that's gonna be coming to our Patreon on March. So if you wanna grab it, then hop on our Patreon. Let me show you how it looks on the Geo. Looks bloody amazing. And, you know, clean as hell. Really cool detail. Uh, perfect shading. Thing is sick, basically. That's what it is. Now we're gonna be texturing this bugger in in Quixel Mixer. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. And if you want to learn how to create trim sheets, how to use them to create environments, you can always grab our course. There's an A to Z design uh, environment design with trim sheets. Also, we have an additional additional package with trim sheet eight and nine, and the bonus package that was re re removed from the from the main course uh, with trim sheet seven and additional four videos for ten bucks. So grab it if you you know if you don't have it. Uh, it's it's really great. So anyway, let me show you how would I texture this thing in Quixel Mixer. So what we need to do is create um, you know you need to create a project. Once you install Quixel Mixer and you know download all the libraries of materials etc., you open the Quixel Mixer. You can sign it with uh, sign in with the uh, Epic Games account if you want to. It's easier. So if you have an uh, you know Epic uh, Epic Launcher, then it's just one click. Uh, but you know if you don't, you just create an account and um, you need to create a project first. So uh, let's create a project. It's gonna be Trim Ten. Okay, and then you need to create a new mix, which is going to be basically the same thing. So trim 10, texture 1, okay, whatever. And choose the resolution. I'm going to go with 4K, uh, so click OK, and uh, we get this. Now, when you open uh, your Quixel Mixer, you will see a plane. And, you know, in this case, we don't need Geo. Normally, you would need to go to Custom Mesh and load Geo, but in this case, you don't, because all you need is go to Layers, and we're going to have to upload the maps normal map okay now for some reason when you load the map to a quixel mixer and you load the um, normal map occasionally they're gonna be flipped this one i think it's fine yeah this one is fine but uh sometimes that they flipped i think it's something related to the open gl uh, but you know this one looks all right so let's leave it like that let's uh, drop the occlusion map so i'm bit occlusion all right and we also need a curvature map and we need a material ID map. Boom. And first of all, what we need to do is to establish the base, you know, base color of the whole frame. So what we're gonna do is go to library, and we're gonna click on um, smart materials. We're gonna click on worn painted aluminium, and it's gonna get applied to everything. Okay. Now what we need to do is remove it from everything and apply it to only, you know, the background, um, the the most based base uh, geo which is you know these kind of like supporting frames right so all you need to do is go here and this will show you the uh, uh, id map now to add materials you need to either click here on respective boxes or what you can do is press q hold and add mod to a specific id which is this and this is the base you know see the, the base frame that sort of surrounds all these shapes and by the way this uh, material matches the material in all the trim sheets that we created for the course and for the additional content so if you're gonna uh, you know uh, you can use it with a trim sheet from one to nine and this could be your trim sheet number 10. so now on top of this we need to have some more mats right so let's go to library and let's go to aluminium okay and we're gonna grab this uh Painted aluminium, hard anodized. I think it's this one. No, it's not. Uh, let me just grab the other one. Uh, this one. Oh, that's the one. That that is the one. I love this one. Okay, I love this one. Okay, so we're gonna apply this to I think these panels because it's gonna look bloody amazing. So let's uh, go with Q and you know apply it in here. Uh, automatically, it's gonna get applied here as well. It's very similar to this uh, metal, uh, but it depends on the lighting conditions. You know, sometimes you can look different. So you know, you kind of look similar, but it's not really the same thing. It's different. Um, different scratches, different you know, different ref reflectivity, etc. So it's a bit different, but I think it looks great on these panels. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And these ones, they could be a bit more, you know. Um, Maybe hammered aluminium, aluminium dirty, 
aluminium slightly worn aluminium how about this maybe we can use this one just for fun so let's go here and maybe we could uh, add it to this bit maybe we could add it to this bit this one is a bit too bright Control z if you don't want to add it there this might look interesting yeah see that's pretty cool um we could add it to this or in fact this could be maybe metal maybe we could add it here this i think would look pretty cool um where else uh, this probably gonna be too bright or actually this looks pretty bloody good i'm not gonna deny it it looks pretty bloody good so you know that's that then we can go and grab some fiberglass okay fiberglass this one this one looks awesome on pipes okay so just you know drop q here and drop it on pipes here see kind of like a reflective black kind of thing looks pretty badass in my opinion we could also grab it in here and fiberglass ah, that looks like shit don't like it maybe we can drop some something else in here maybe maybe the yellow one the yellow one is pretty cool so um let's go with i think it's iron or uh, what is this uh, rusted rusted iron or something um this one is pretty badass so let's go to q and let's drop it in here maybe on this one and on this one and you know uh, bob janko maybe this one is not the best idea so uh, let's remove it from here uh, let's drop it on this one. Oh, this one is connected, right? Uh, I see. So this one's gonna have to be different. That's cool. Now these should be black. So what I'm gonna do, and by the way, why this one is a uh, uh, is the um, fiberglass? This shouldn't be fiberglass. Um, hang on a second. Let me just deselect this. Oh, it's connected. Oh, you bastard! Really now? Really now? The same color right 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 okay let's go with gunmetal okay so let's go with gunmetal and you know let's drop this one here and move it on top so you can kind of drag it and drop it let's drop an id mask here there we go and we can edit here to this one and we can edit maybe here it's gonna be too black um i think you know this could be also black like that um, so it's gonna kind of match here or we could actually use this one anodized aluminium so um, use this i think it's gonna be a bit better yeah cool and the same probably could be here i think it's gonna look all right i'm not sure about this being yellow to be honest maybe we're gonna change it to um let's let's just change it so let's let's disconnect it from here and maybe maybe drop gunmetal here or maybe this silver thing so scratched aluminium slightly this one i think um uh, there we go yeah that looks pretty cool i like that now we need some color or whatever here uh, this one is already aluminium that's cool uh, this one could also be aluminium you know just for fun um that's cool that's cool that's cool that's cool or i think we're good now this one could be aluminium as well i think it's gonna look pretty badass so you know you got this trim sheet going on and i think we're done um now the screws could be aluminium too or we could make them actually black so we could just go with a uh, gun metal and pop the screws with a gun metal so it's a bit different here too gun metal boom so it's kind of a you know accent over there the more ids you're gonna drop on your uh on your thing the better um this one i think would be better if it was actually silver which one is it connected to uh, oh, it's this one, right? Gun metal. Why is it gun metal? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't want a gun metal here. I want a silver thing. So let's remove it. There we go. That's better. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now this one could be also gun metal. To be honest, all of it probably gonna be better. Um, this one is silver. Good, good, good. Well, I think we're done. So we can save this and, 
you know, color today. If you don't want this to be yellow, you can always change it to, um, you know, rusted yellow. You can always change it to something maybe silverish or maybe silverish would be better. You know, let's let's try this. Maybe this yellow thing is not the best idea here. Maybe you should go with this aluminium. So switch it here. Boom. Yeah, I think it's going to be better. Just let's make it kind of black and whitish or whatever. You know, even this one could be aluminium. So maybe we could remove gunmetal from this. But I think this one is connected to the pipes. So screw it. Just let's leave it like that. Or maybe we could make this one gunmetal as well, you know. So um, go to uh, this one here. Boom. So all of it is actually, you know, kind of gunmetal, kind of matches. A little bit better so i think this is good all right well we arrived now the export of maps is important you need to go here to export maps and now you don't need diffuse you don't need specular you don't need uh displacement what you need is metalness okay that's what you need and what you need here is change this to rma if you want to export this to the uh, game engine you need to uh, create a uh, a different map in here so we're gonna drop um ambient occlusion in red channel um roughness here in green and probably metalness in here should be fine this will be the best you know to use it for unreal every single engine has different settings for these maps so so you got albedo which is a color then you got the roughness metalness uh, which you need for um what do you call them? Deco machine, that's the one. Now you can here specify a folder you want to export it to. Um, I have a folder on my desktop. So, you know, it's going to go there automatically. And that's basically it, guys. I mean, you're done. And then, you know, once you have the maps, you're going to bring them to uh, to a Blender and use them with Deco machine to simply trim this trim sheet. Now, if you wanted to learn how to trim them, how to, you know, create them, how to use them for environments, how to make environments, etc. Like I said, we have a course on this. So have a look at the course and um, there, there's a tons of uh, amazing information over there on trim sheets. And in addition, we, you know, you're getting six trim sheets with the course and then two additional with the new content that we just released um, uh, recently, plus the bonus trim sheets. So together you get nine. And with this one, if you pop on Patreon, you got 10 trim sheets. Now, if, if, you, if you grab all these trim sheets, you're going to get a lot of decals because, you know, a lot of trims because each of them is like 20 to 30 or more. Uh, so, you know, you're getting probably around 300 with all of them, and uh, you know, decal trims. So that's very powerful if you want to design some environments and um, they textured in a way that they will fit uh, with one another. So you can seamlessly blend them in an environment and they're going to look awesome. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like and sub if you did. And uh, links to Deco Machine, Hard Ops, and Box Cutter and all other items that I'm using or used for creating these trim sheets in the video description. So grab them through the links. You're going to help me as well. Thank you for watching. Catch you next video.